Alrighty then, so some of you have heard of this book called Breakfast Journal. Some of you know what it's about and some of you don't know what it is. It's all about how you interpret this book. If you know what it is, it's a journal that you can artistically or just basically ruin this book and just follow the instructions the, any way you want to follow them. It's totally up to you and I think that's what the author actually really wanted, Carrie Smith. Um, it's a really fun book. You can get super creative with it or you can just do exactly as it says. For this particular book, I've already made a basic breakfast journal. It was over on my old vlog channel and I just went at this book as basically as possible. I ruined it. <laughs> so I'm going to give this another try, but I want to take this breakfast journal from the beginning and go through it with you guys by applying doodles. So I'm going to take the instructions and I'm going to make doodles of the instructions on the page as opposed to putting stuff in it and ruining it like I ruined my first book. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna bend the rules just a little bit. So this is my doodle wreck this journal. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm still gonna follow instructions, you know, just just so, you, so no purist of wreck this journal are going, oh my gosh, she's not even wrecking it, or oh my gosh, she's not doing what, no. I want to be a doodler. So one of the first pages says, crack the spine. I cracked the spine, but I also wanted to put the crack of space and time on it. It's a little bit difficult because I've never really have on my first breakfast journal I didn't use any art mediums in it I think I painted in it but I didn't use like I didn't know what kind of like would colored pencils work would markers work would paint work would watercolor work so I was just trying all for this first run for the first couple of pages I just wanted to try all different kinds of medium whether it be acrylic paint or just simple doodling like the first page says stand here so I don't know I drew a doodle of a boy and his pet bunny rabbit and there it's saying jump use your feet stand on it so i drew a doodle of a boy with his bunny and they're obviously standing and jumping all over the page and i wanted him to look more like a cartoon figure cartoon waldo and it kind of remind me of calvin and Hobbes, you know just totally taking this doodle to the whole other level being basic at the same time for this one it says poke holes with your pencil so I drew pencils <laughs> and I colored it with colored pencils. So this page says draw fat lines and thin lines and it's any way you take it. So I want to get artistic with it so I got a little crazy I thought of like candy and Willy Wonka so that's what I wanted to try to interpret in this page but then I after I was done making the thicker lines I went ahead and I made little squiggly lines in the background kind of remind me of Mary Poppins and Willy Wonka all at the same time I don't know what I was doing but I really love I think out of today's wreck this journal thing I think this was my favorite page that I did just because of the shading of the markers and I found that the markers actually work the best on these pages. So if you're thinking about getting um, a breakfast journal, markers do work. I was using my cheap markers and I was using my Copic markers, so I was, but they were all alcohol based. But I would just, I would suggest to not draw anything on the back because you might possibly ruin it for this page I didn't it says put your handprints and your fingerprints all over and I was like I don't know how to make this creative so I went a little bit basic and I turned my fingerprints into regular little animals and then I just got a little too crazy at the end and I just painted my hand to look like a giant fireball I don't know for this one it just looks like you know I it says color the whole page and I wanted to make my own coloring book and then I drew a narwhal and I don't know why in the world I drew a narwhal because what was on my mind I was making triangles and I decided to draw a narwhal <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking I was perfectly fine with filling up the entire page with triangles and after I drew the narwhal I was just like oh my gosh 
this narwhal looks ridiculous. I just ruined this entire page. Yay, this is fantastic, whatever. So what I did was I went ahead and I colored all my triangles and my pathetic looking narwhal and I went back in with a liner and I, I wanted to line my triangles to make it look a little bit like crazy geometric patterns. Um, I decided not to color the entire page just because I, I don't know. I think honestly I think it's because I got so angry that I drew the narwhal and I thought this is not gonna work <laughs> so it's all the narwhal's fault for this page but I really like how the triangles did and I wish that I would have I snuck a triforce in that's right so <laughs> I really wish I just would have filled the whole page with um with my little triangles but you know the narwhal that narwhal for this one it says throw something throw like a ball dipped in paint and throw it at it but the first time I did that it was really it got all over my curtains and everything in my room so I was like no so I'm doodling sticking to my doodle basics so I grabbed some of my glitter pins and I pretended to doodle some plain paint balls over at my little bullseye there so there we go and then for this one it said stick leaves or pieces of floral all over the page so I don't know about you guys but I am totally excited for fall and I'm ready for fall to be here so I thought I'm just gonna draw a fall tree on here because that's what I want right now. So here I have my little fall tree and I really had a lot of fun making this fall tree. Um, future advice for anybody who wants to do a breakfast journal with markers, make sure I keep putting a piece of paper behind every single one of my pieces of, of paper that I'm using my markers on so just so it doesn't bleed through um, because it will bleed through onto the other page because the pages are super thin so I got a nice thick piece of paper just to block any ink going through. And for the last page, not the last page, but second to last page, it says take something and scratch it and I was really ripping up this piece of paper so I wanted to make stars and then I wanted to make the cow jumping over the moon and just wasn't working out so I made a rocket and then I made more stars and I'm like okay I'm just gonna do stars because this is fun I had no idea how to scratch a piece of paper without completely ripping it <laughs> and for the last page of the day it says draw something with coffee or spatter coffee so I made a coffee cup using my co my leftover coffee from this morning that's as basic as I got with that and I just highlighted it with a couple of alcohol based markers but yeah this would be the first wreck this journal post I have for you guys I think I'm gonna keep going for every Tuesday until it is done so I will do a wreck this journal uh, about I don't even know how many pages I did I just did a good handful and I will keep doing it every Tuesday until it's done just for fun time lapse Tuesday I know you guys want me to jump back into my wreck this journal so here we go have a wonderful day Bye!